Hey everyone, welcome to this week's live session. Today's topic is Python Automation Ideas. But before we begin, I'd like to thank our viewers for tuning in and actively participating in these sessions. Let us wait for a while for more people to tune in. Also, we have a dedicated team here to answer all your queries. So, if you have any questions, let us know in the chat section. We will get back to you. Alright, I see a few more people have joined. So, this session will be about today's topic, which is Python Automation Ideas. So, let us begin. We will go through 10 most popular Python Automation Ideas. So, brace yourself while we discuss every one of them. First, we will go through how and where Python fits in machine learning prediction models and algorithms. Then, we look into web scraping, another popular application for Python automation. Python is also used for tracking, stock market and cryptocurrency prices. After that, we will discuss chatbots, increasingly popular customer service experience. File management automation is common in workplaces, again, mostly powered by Python. Data mining also employs Python for structuring data. Another good automation idea is to automate sending reminders, emails and text messages. Excel spreadsheets can also be read and modified using Python. Python is also used to automate filling up of online forms. In the end, we will go through the concept of Internet of Things and how Python is used in that field. So without further ado, let's get started. First up, Machine Learning. Machine learning is huge. Its use is spread across almost every technological field. Python is commonly used for implementing machine learning models and algorithms. Here are some most popular Python libraries that are used for solving machine learning problems. First, NumPy. NumPy adds support for large, multi-dimensional arrays and matrices along with a large collection of mathematical functions to operate on these arrays. Next, we have Pandas. Pandas offer data structures and operations for manipulating numerical tables and time series. After that, we have Scikit-learn. Scikit-learn is a machine learning library for Python programming language. It features various classifications, regressions and clustering algorithms including support vector machines and other algorithms. Followed by that, we have TensorFlow. TensorFlow is also a library for machine learning. It can be used across a range of tasks but has a particular focus on training and interference of deep neural networks. Some of the applications where Python automation is extensively employed are industries. Industries have been using machines for a long time now. But with the introduction of smart machines, Python has come to use in the industrial machines. Followed by industries, we have hospitals. Hospitals use advanced medical equipment for monitoring various body conditions. The newer machines can suggest actions based on specific conditions and for that, Python programming is required. Next, we have drones. Drones have become popular recently and they are mostly powered by AI, which in turn is powered by Python. Now, we will move into web scraping. Web scraping is a technique used to extract large amounts of data from websites. And Python is the go-to language for web scraping. Beautiful Soup is a Python library that is popularly used for parsing HTML and XML documents. It creates parse trees that are helpful for extracting the data very easily. It will help for Selenium and Pandas libraries to be installed alongside Beautiful Soup so that the data can be structured properly and becomes ready for further use. The extracted data from website is usually stored in a local file in the computer or in a database in the form of tables. Moving ahead, we have the share market or cryptocurrency tracker. Python is used for tracking stock market and cryptocurrency prices. Let's look into it. The prices of the share market and cryptocurrencies go up and down every instant. So, Python is used to track and predict the market for profitable investment. Even though the markets are highly unstable, Python automation can provide a trend for a better purchase or sell. L. 
long short term memory is an artificial recurrent neural network architecture popularly used for applications like stock market predictions lstm models are powerful especially for retaining long term memory and therefore can provide trends using large amounts of data a well informed investment can go a long way and that's when automated stock price trackers come in which of course is powered by python followed by share market and cryptocurrency trackers we have the chatbots chatbots are in high demand and that's why it is an amazing area for implementing python automation techniques so let's dive into it chatbots are becoming increasingly common especially in business and e-commerce fields aiming to provide superior customer service experience to buyers Chatbots are usually developed using natural processing language libraries like NLTK, Spacy, etc. These libraries can take in hundreds of thousands of sentences and then create a new sentence as a response to a question. Chatbots are automated customer assistance service powered by Python. They used to be only text based, but now more and more chatbots offer voice support with the advancements of NLTK. and these libraries are completely based on python so followed by chatbots we have file management python also offers automated file management features so let's have a look at it python is used for automated file management creating deleting renaming and other file operations a handful of python scripts can perform full blown file management operations automatically or at a scheduled time Python scripts are used to perform file management operations either on the same file system or remotely. They are especially useful when files have to be modified over the network using some API technologies. So followed by file management, we have data mining. Data mining is a process of turning raw data into useful information using methods involving data science and statistics. Python libraries like NumPy and Pandas are useful for making sense of raw extracted data from any source including local file or a website on the internet. Machine learning models like regression and classification are further applied to the structured data and bring out some results. Big companies often use data mining to turn raw data into meaningful information and gain insights. So followed by data mining we have send reminder emails and text messages Python is often used in workplaces to automate and schedule sending or receiving of emails and text messages Python packages like email smtp lib are used for sending emails using just python You can turn a time consuming task into an automated or a scheduled task Emails and text are usually automated or scheduled among other tasks within a team to focus on other development tasks. This increases productivity and encourages better time management in a team. So followed by sending automated emails and text messages, we will advance into update excel sheets automatically. So Python provides a module that allows your Python programs to read and modify excel sheets. Not just excel sheets but other formats like open office sheets or libre office sheets or basically any spreadsheet excel is a popular spreadsheet application by microsoft but there are a lot of alternatives in case you don't want to pay for it open py excel is a module based on python that you can install for working with excel spreadsheets and automating tasks using python excel sheets can be daunting especially when there is a lot of data in spreadsheets python helps automate filtering of data based and specified factors depending on the data type python provides crud that is create update and delete along with other features on excel spreadsheets so followed by excel spreadsheets we have fill online forms python also offers automated form fill features so let's have a look at it Python is used to fill up online forms automatically. Any suitable Python script can be used to extract data from a file and fill in equivalent online form. You can automate filling up of online forms like Google Forms or other sign up and login forms using vanilla Python scripts. Forms can be submitted without any user interface. 
You just need to provide data equivalent to what is required to fill up a particular form on the internet. For example, if a particular Google form has fields for name, age and gender, Python script should be written exactly in the order to fill up those fields. Followed by fill online forms, we have Internet of Things. So lastly, let's discuss where Python fits in the Internet of Things. Internet of Things is basically the network of physical things that are embedded with some software, sensors and other technologies that help them get connected to other devices on a network. Python provides various modules for developing services and applications for many IoT devices like Arduino, Raspberry Pi, etc. Packages like MRAA, Sockets, MySQL Database and others are popularly used for IoT applications. Python is used as a primary language for IoT because of its compact syntax and fast runtime speed. IoT applications spread across various fields like smart appliances, wearables, etc. The ultimate concept of being an interconnected world more than ever. So we have now covered the most popular Python automation ideas. There are many other uses of Python as well, but these are the most trending according to the current scenario. You may use up these ideas for your personal work as well as college or office projects. And with that, we have reached the end of this video. Hope you liked it. Think we missed anything important? Let us know in the live chat or in the comment section below if you are watching this later. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn.